Hello there, I'm Chris and I quickly want to show you how to use the HTML slide template for Mozilla Evangelism Reps. All you have to do is go to github.com code poet shower to get the slide deck so you can have it on your hard drive and present it in any of the conferences or meetups where you're speaking. We use GitHub so we can keep them up to date all the time. If you know what GitHub is, great, just go there and clone it and you know that it's easy to get the latest updates without having to download the whole thing once. If you don't know what GitHub is, don't worry about it, just go to that URL, press this zip link here and you will get the slide system for download as one packed file. It's 12.4 Mac, which is quite a lot, but this means that everything you, you will present is actually on your hard drive. So if you're at a conference and you actually are offline, which you will be all the time, you don't have the problem that your fonts don't show up or images don't show up and so on and so forth. So your information will be on your hard drive rather than you being dependent on the internet. So once you download this, it will actually just give you a zip file in the folder where you downloaded it. You then just double click it and it creates a folder and puts all the information in there for you. In this folder you will have a folder called pictures, one called scripts, themes and three demo HTML presentations. One of them is mozilla.html which always has the coolest and newest things that we're talking about and it's good to give a good overview of what Mozilla is doing at the moment. Mozilla Mission has a mission statement in there in case you want to give a short presentation and you want to make people remember what Mozilla is about. This was written by Tristonito and showed at the last uh, MozCamp. And Mozilla Example HTML is, a, is an example with all the features that this HTML system has for you. For this video right now, we're just going to show you how to download them and actually how to present with these slides. So let's take the Mozilla.html one. Once you have that open in the browser, which could be Firefox or could also be Chrome or could also be Opera, it also works in IE10, I think, but I haven't tested it myself yet. You will see that you have all the slides here as an overview, which is cool because you can just jump to one of them and present them rather than having to go through the whole slides in, uh, in the right order. This is also great for rehearsing as the notes that we have on all of these slides can be shown by just rolling over these slides. So in this case here you have a notes of saying introduce yourself, who you are and, what, uh, and why you are the person to give that talk. So you can go through these slides by yourself and just rehearse and remember what you want to say with each of these slides because slides should not have the content that you're talking about because otherwise you might be totally unnecessary and you can just send people the slides and you don't have to give a talk at all. When you're presenting, these notes will be available for you as well. So first of all, presenting is just by double-clicking any of these slides. And then you can use space for the next slide, or you can use the keyboard navigation, the arrow keys, to go left for, uh, go right for the next slide, left for the previous slide, down for the next slide, or up for the previous slide. You can also navigate with J and K, or again, as I said, with a space bar, which is normally the easiest way of presenting. If you want to go back to the overview, press escape at any time, and then you will actually get to the slide that you are in, not to the first one again. If you want to have your notes, the easiest way to do it is just turn on the command line. So you can do it with uh, command option K, as I did right, right here, or you can go to tools, web developer, web console. And the good thing about that one is, is that you actually have it in the browser right now. So, of course, for, for presenting, this would be rather stupid as people would see your notes above the presentations. So what you can do with the dev tools is actually have them in a window. And then you could move that other window to the second screen and show it from the main screen on the presentation uh, projector. So these slides automatically advance. So when you actually now go here and you do a clear, so in case you don't want to have anything anymore, and you go to the next slide, you see your notes and you actually at the same time see the next slide title. So you can actually talk about what you want to talk about and sometimes have shorter notes so you can actually get just a few points for yourself. And you know what the next slide will be as it tells you here at the next slide uh, console logging thing. And the console is actually controlled by the other window, so you don't need to worry about these getting out of sync, because they just are. So this is how you get those notes, uh, those, this HTML system, and how to present it. In the second video, I'm going to show you how to actually make your own slides, put your own images in there, and what kind of tricks you have to actually edit those slides to make them look beautiful.